Well, hello everyone and welcome back. We are here again on the van conversion. And for those of you who tuned in last week, you'll remember that beautiful floor that I put down at the end of the video and the carpeted seat bases that John and I did. And uh, today what we're going to be looking at is this lovely cupboard front that we put on. Now, I didn't film putting this on. Terribly sorry about that, but you know how it works. I just want to get these jobs done sometimes. It's literally just a piece of wood that we trimmed to the shape and I made holes to put these switches in. But what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to take it down and we're going to really clean it up and sand it and paint it. And then we're going to probably put the door on it and get it back up once the paint's dry um, because this then will be a finished piece. If you're new here, I'm Aidy, single dad to my twins, John and Ella. We're home educating and living life our way. Years ago, I worked as an underwater cameraman in Thailand, where I met their mom. We tragically lost her at the birth in Bangkok, but our journey wasn't about to stop there. We're now converting our big van, a Mercedes Sprinter, getting ready for new adventures across Europe and beyond. Join us as we build, explore, and live our lives to the full. So that is the color we're going to be using. I'll show you the other option. Now, if you guys recall, I'll put a picture up for you now. But when we went to Ikea to have a look at color schemes uh, quite some months ago now, we took a photo of a bedroom that John, Ella and I all agreed we liked the color scheme. And also from Ikea, we have got these. These just arrived this morning. We ordered them for delivery and I absolutely love them when we were walking around the shop just we went again a couple of weeks ago all three of us were like oh yeah we like those so that's going to be our hatch door for there so let me give you a closer look at that absolutely lovely those are 10 pounds each believe it or not why the heck would i make my own doors when we've got those for 10 pounds each so i think that's a great contrast i am also going to show you the other side this is the other color we're using now, please feel free, down in the comments, if you prefer that, let me know. We are going to be using this colour, but that's going to be going on the walls down here, like a darker colour lower down, and the yellow splash right around all the cupboards at the top. If you prefer this up here, let me know in the comments, because we are painting it yellow, but mines can be changed later, so we'll see. Anyway, what we're going to get on with first is... Taking this down, we've got to cut this hole a little bit bigger to fit the door that's just arrived and then we'll start sanding it down and prepping for paint. All right, you ready, dude? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's get some weapons. Can you get that impact driver, dude, please? Right, so I cut this hole before we had the doors just so I can reach in and I've got a few screws in the back. Um, now, I'll have to get to those to take them out before we can take this thing down. Ugh. Take that off. I've just remembered something I need to do before we take that down. Because I need to know where the door's gonna be centrally on here. I've got to find out where the ceiling is gonna hit there. So yeah, I'll just have to run a level or something across to there and put a pencil mark, one sec. Oh, longer one. Okay. Okay, and there we go. <clears throat> Actually, I think I'll move outside. So first of all, I'm gonna take all these bits off that I uh, put on there, like the switches. Put them somewhere very, very safe. And then, I need to take this off the back. Right, so that can wait there. It's on the chair, Ella's chair. Too big. Oh, 
Righty-ho, so with John holding that up there, it will be a bit lower than that, but that's okay. Um, we've decided this is still going to be the yellow, but we're going to build some posts down here eventually, and I think they will be the salmon colour. Therefore, this doesn't have to be a very smooth finish. And what I'm thinking is I might router the edge of this so it makes a very definite line between above and below. This is going to be hidden behind cupboards anyway there. But the other reason is this is the place where John and I can bash our heads as we're climbing through into there. And we've done it a couple of times with the carpet on. We'll get used to it, but the carpet was quite soft and squishy. That's a very, very sharp edge. So I think we'll just chamf off a little bit, a little lip. Do you agree, sir? Mm -hmm. What I have done here, let me show you, is I have stuck this on the back, and now that's going to be for the hinge. And then I've been using wood filler. You can see the holes there ready for the hinge. Uh, I've been filling, I've been sanding, sanding and filling little areas that need it. Probably going a bit overboard, um, but what I'm going to do now is stick a layer of undercoat on it and then that'll probably be it for now and I'm just going to pop back out to the garage and do then a coat of my top and then later tonight or tomorrow morning another coat of the top. So uh, I'll just basically, next time you see this, it's probably painted. You can watch me put the undercoat on though, that's fun, isn't it? A bit of satisfying painting. Yeah, let's watch that. Yes, I know it's white, it's an undercoat. Yellow comes next. So like I say, what I might do is I might pop out here tonight and put the first coat of yellow on. And if I feel the urge really, really late at night, I might do the second coat, but maybe that's the first thing in the morning thing now. It's getting cold, so it's not gonna dry fast. Um, but either way, this thing's going up tomorrow with the door on. It's gonna look spectacular, I can't wait. Oh, and I've got to wire the wiring bits in as well, so see you in the morning. Good morning all, good morning all. Yes, we're in the kitchen because uh, I've got something to show you. Sorry it's a bit dark, but I can't turn these lights on otherwise they flicker on the camera. Um, so I made a minor mistake, error in judgment. I wasn't all there yesterday and I was rushing a bit. And I went to get that undercoat paint, didn't I? And it was oil-based. Don't use oil-based. You just assume things are going to be water-based these days. Well, I do, because I've done a lot of paint and decorating in my time and that's all we ever used is water-based because it dries quick. It's easy to clean. I didn't even think. So, as it is, of course, that was not going to dry out there in a cold garage. So I had to bring it in. What do we have? A pussy cat. So I couldn't put it anywhere. I was going to put it in the kitchen because she's just going to walk over it all night. So I came up with this little uh, sort of ingenious hanging thing. <laughs> That's a, a paint roller extension cable, uh, cable, pole. And I've managed to put it through the handle of this cupboard prop it down underneath that cupboard and there it's been hanging there all night and it is about dry on close inspection this camera won't pick it up the grain has popped back through and i'll be honest that paint was rubbish i went cheap i shouldn't have done buy but was it let's say buy cheap buy twice that's it and i'm going to buy twice because i've got to go back out to the shop this morning and i'm going to get some better primer undercoat that's water-based that will dry in half an hour and then I can start putting the yellow on. So yes, we haven't got any yellow on yet. Uh, but anyway, I'll get back to you in a bit because uh, I'm going to go and get myself ready now. I haven't even had a wash or hair brush or anything yet. And uh, then we'll have some screw fix, get the paint, get back and we'll crack on with this job. All right. Okay, I did it. I went and got some more paint. I, uh, I've put a bit of filler where I needed some filler because I want it to be beautiful. And I have got a coat of the new water-based uh, paint on and it's already dry. So I'm going to be able to put some yellow on. So I will show you that. Uh, in between yellow coats, what I'm going to be doing is I've already started, but obviously these cables are far too long. I'm trimming them down, making sure I've fresh labeled them and getting them ready to take some spade connectors. All my tools here 
and then I will be able to actually clip those up to the switches that I've got there and they're in, they're wired. And then of course at some point I'm going to have to put a battery or something on this end and just check the switches and see if it all works because that's quite exciting. But for the meantime, let's put some yellow paint on here shall we? Yay! <laughs> Possibility, that's a bit too much. <laughs> All right, as you can see, I am on a tea break. I have just put a second coat on there, and of course, a little spider's found it, hasn't it? But that bit doesn't matter, that'll be behind the cabinets. So yeah, I think that'll do, two coats. I could keep going, I'm just getting all perfectionist on this and I don't need to, it's gonna be fine. Uh, what I've been doing in between coats, like I said, I was doing the wiring, I, as you can see, all my little uh, off cuts and clippings and whatnot, but I've really tidied these wires up. I have got the spade adapters on the back of their spade clips, sorry, ready to uh, connect them and I'll put a bit of conduit around that as well to protect it and uh, yeah that should be good and strong even though people will be throwing things up in this cupboard it won't get bashed too badly I don't think um, if I do feel like I need it I might put a box on the back to protect it but it doesn't have to happen now so yeah pitter pattering along at the moment with this and then we'll see because uh, it's not just going to leave the video with just this cupboard well, obviously we're going to see this thing up today which is going to be excellent but then I think I'm going to be looking at doing these pieces down here. I'm going to do wooden trim down there, wooden trim all the way down here. I'm thinking all the way down to the step actually. And then I've got a little light to go inside there, which I'll have to wire in ahead of time. Then the only thing I'm contending with is this annoying lump, which I'm going to make a separate piece of wood for that. And I'll probably carpet it. Whereas the wood on the front of here is going to be painted the salmon color and then it'll come to a nice stop there. And then that'll work around this side because the salmon color will be coming all the way up this wall. And then where my overhead cupboards are, which will be the mustard color again. The, so the salmon will stop there. So it should be, if not exactly the same level, it'll be close, but uh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna have my cup of tea. Hopefully that paint will dry fairly soon. I might even start templating out of some cardboard for those side bits. Now I think about it. Uh, I'm running out of steam today, getting a bit tired, but uh, it's Sunday, it's my normal day off today, but because the sun's out, or it was out, even though I'm dressed like this, um, I just felt like I should make use of the weather. So I am doing, right. I'm gonna find some strips of cardboard and I might try and template them side bits. Should we have a look at that? Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm so, so sorry. I have my cup of tea. It's getting freezing cold here. It must have frozen my brain. I just didn't think to film, but look. Oh! I got so into the wiring. I screwed up my wiring and it took me ages to fix it. And I just wasn't thinking about cameras, but there we go. Obviously it needs a door handle like that. I've got a switch here for there, switch here which is that outside light there. Oh look, there's en route to nowhere. They're just heading down into the local town. Uh, SJ's gonna go busking. So that's cool. So yeah, I am absolutely over the moon with it. Obviously that's not fully wired up to a battery. That's on my extension cable, which runs all the way down to here where it's wired into all those wires, which then go all the way back over here to the switches. But I am so, so, absolutely stoked and happy with that i'm so sorry i didn't film it i was just got in a zone right well the kids are here to look john just had a sneaky peek didn't you l come on i want reactions is it on or is it attached? this is all up and operational wow. is that a wow can i can i lift it yeah. yeah obviously it needs a door handle yeah i know needs patching needs a door handle on it and Please never bang it again. It's so hard, is it like not close bang loud? Well, when there's a handle on it. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll hold it. 
Thank you. Open it. Press the press the middle switch. Oh wow! Wow. I can't see up there, but I'm seeing it. Asserting it. It's good. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's, good. it's good. And then. Oh. No, no, okay. No, no. Oh gosh. Oh. oh, now into the wires. Nice. <laughs> cool. Okay, put me down. <laughs> and then look. The yes. left-hand switch, John. The left-hand switch is the outside light. <laughs> yeah, and the other one is the other side light. So, kids, L especially, what do you think? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, John, you like it? Yes. Yeah, brilliant. Me too. <laughs> right, we got an approval. That's all that matters. I will pick up you guys. Uh, pick up with you guys. Possibly tomorrow. It might be in a couple of days. I don't know. Uh, I've worked all weekend. I could do with a little break myself, and then. Um, we will look at those side bits, like I say, for the pillars down there. So yeah, I'll see you very, very soon. All right, so we're making a start. It is actually the following day. I had to go and do something at my rental property this morning and I felt tired when I came home and uh, I had a cup of tea and it fixed everything. Now I've started tinkering. I'm not moving too fast, but we're moving forward. Now I wasn't gonna film. I was, I'm quite simply, can you see with that sun? I'm making a template for what will be the side pieces of wood here, but I've got so far down. And then as you can see here, we've got this big bit here, this indentation. And what my plan is, is to put a block of wood in there. So it fixes up to there and comes out to here. I want it to be really rigid because this might be a fixing point for a table. I don't know yet, but I want to give it the option. So I'm going to have to do that before I can continue making this template. And I thought, I'm not going to do a job like that without bringing you guys along. So uh, I've got a piece of wood over there in the garage. So shall we have a look? As you can see, Otis and SJ are still with us. They went off for a little bit and they've popped back in. They've just taken the dog out for a walk. Uh, I have got this big lump of wood, which is pretty much the size I need and I am going to be slowly basically carving it down bit by bit to fit that hole. It's not a quick job. It's going to be a bit faffy and chisely and grinding and shaping until it works. Then I'm going to cover it with carpet and we'll bolt it in there and it'll be strong as anything. And then I might fix one of them swivelly tables on it. Um, I forgot what you call them. I think the, the brand that everyone knows is Lagoon or Lagoon, Lagoon Tables, but there's cheaper versions on eBay, which is what I'll be getting. Yeah, of course it will, because they're a rip off. Um, so yeah, let's put you on a tripod and I'm going to do some cutty cutty. The sun's poked out again now, it's a bit low in the sky, end of day coming, but what have I done with them pieces of wood? Oh, <laughs> I've brought the camera down here to talk to you about pieces of wood and I've left them over there. Anyway, they're cut. I do need to do here as well. Can you see that with the light behind it? There is a small sliver there and funnily enough the offcuts from what I've just done are almost the right size so it'll give me a guide, a bit of a template. Um, so as you can see, I need a piece in there, which will also carpet, but they're ready. I'm going to go back to the garage now and I'm going to get them carpeted and then I might fit them and that might be the end of the day, but we'll see. Hey, you never know. I might get excited and do some more.
Moment of truth. Wrong one. <laughs> Not the wrong one. There we go. Now it doesn't look fantastic with the blue. Let's look at this one at this side, shall we? Look at that. Cool, huh? And then I can have a front piece going up there. So I've just got to do those little bits at the top and then I can template this thing up fully and I can make the cuts. I don't think we'll get to that today. I might have a look at these little bits of wood though. Should we do it? Come on, come on, let's go and do it. Actually, scratch that a minute. What I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna put uh, a riv nut here because there's already a bolt there. I'm gonna put a riv nut up here and then I can bolt this thing in really strong and hopefully I'll see if it feels strong enough to take a table. That one doesn't really need to be riv nut and bolted in. It's just for decoration, but this one's got to have a bit of structure to it. So I've got a plan as well. What I can do is I'm going to cut down one of these bolts and I'll sharpen it up so it's pointed, stick it in there, then I'll be able to put this against it, give it a whack and it'll give me a mark on the back where I need to drill a hole, won't it? Yay. I'm not that clever. I saw someone else doing it. Anyway, let's go and cut one, shall we? Right then, we've got everything we need here. So I'll first of all, drill a hole with that step bit. We will then put the riv nut in with the riv nut tool. We will put this little fella in there and then we'll get the marks on this where we need to drill for the bolts and we'll fix it in. Exciting stuff, eh? Right, let me put you down somewhere. Um, For anyone who doesn't know about roof nuts, you can go back and watch our roof rack video and I'll talk about them more on there. But anyway, they are absolutely wonderful little things. There we go. So what I can do now is screw that little fella into there. Not so easy, but we can do it. Right, so fit that where it wants to be. Give it a little tap. And we have a mark where I'm gonna have to drill the hole. So now we'll do the same in the other one. Pop this in there like that, and there we go. Now exactly where I need to drill those holes now. Ooh, hope I didn't put that too far in. Now we're good. And then what we'll do is we will countersink a couple of M8 bolts into there, um, maybe even with a bit of a washer, and that thing's going to be rigid absolutely solid as hell and then we should be able to put one of them plates on there for one of them tables two so that should fit nicely in there and that should go through there beautiful that's going to work fantastic. Yeah, that's grabbing. And so is that one. Look at that. You're not so bad if I say so myself. That's brilliant. And then the front will come down like that, which will be coloured, of course. OK, so that's going to allow me to finish that template nicely. Um, but that might be it for today because uh, the sun's going down. I'm getting hungry and tired, so uh, I'll pick up with you again. Another day, another day. It's all spanning over the course of many days at the moment. I'm just doing little bits here, little bits there. Uh, so, yeah, I'll pick up with you in a bit. Cheers, guys. Bye bye.
Good morning. So, John, as you can see, is dusting off the uh, the electric bag because I pulled it out here and had it there yesterday. You'll probably seen it in the background of the footage. And I was cutting wood and I covered it in dust and he doesn't like that. John takes a lot of pride in that bike. So he's going to get that cleaned up. And I'll tell you what we are doing today. So, the plan of attack is, I fortunately have one leftover plank of this stuff, this flooring. So what I'm going to do is we're going to pop that off. We're going to take this out. And what I will then do is I'm going to build an extension on here and extend this step out by however long I need to, just to bring us past this lip here. So this is something that I could have planned for before, but I didn't because it just happens as you're working along, these things come up. That way then when I build this front on here, it will come down and it will sit flush on the floor. And this will have a box coming all the way out to here and around. And that's just going to be built out of plywood and probably painted the same color as this because I'm still debating on colors because that is obviously going to be the salmon coming down the side of there. And if that's salmon, then that means the kitchen wall that comes down here might also end up being salmon. I'm still undecided, but then it would match at the bottom, obviously. I just make it up as I go along. I do the bit I'm doing. I think about the color. We make it the color and we put it up. If I want to change it later, it's paint, so we can do that. It's not the end of the world, is it? So uh, obviously John is with me today. We've still got these guys here. They're just rummaging around in their van, getting things moved around. Um, but yeah, hopefully we're going to get a good day. And in fact, we're going to get a good few days. We've got nice weather coming for at least till the weekend, I think. And today is Tuesday. So I will get this done in this video, but then we're going to very quickly get on with filming some more videos and we can push forward with this build and actually get some stuff done before the weather really changes. So how's the bike coming on, John? Oh, bless you. <laughs> right, let's get some work done, shall we? So John's going to get this lump of wood off that I fit last night because it's in the way of changing the floor. Luckily, I bolted it on and didn't glue it. <laughs> well, I go and cut out the wood for this extra bit of step. happy with that. I need to wire a light in here, but I can wait. What I'm going to do next is get this flooring up, use the spare that I've got, and we'll extend it out to here. And that takes care of that little issue. And then we'll get this built and down to there, because that's all that matters for me now is getting these side uh, panels uh, made, first of all, and then painted. John, bless him, is busy putting some insulation up in the gaps that have been missed over time. And en route to nowhere, I still hear, and they're trying to fill the tank with water. It's good fun. <laughs> How goes it? We need some bits, I reckon. We need to buy something like that can connect to something. I mean, we have one of, I don't know what we, we have an actual hose, but it's not long enough at all. We have this. You oh, think this we'd have That's to go on a kitchen tap. Yeah. Brilliant, so we don't need that then. <laughs> <laughs> we might need it one <laughs> You never know. I think we'll leave that in their more than capable hands and I'll get on with my floor. <laughs> So all I've got to do is make, use this as a template, make an exact replica and then leave it there and then cut it down afterwards. I am chuffed with this, it's looking good. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna template the rest of this piece here, which of course will translate to the other side. So if I get that templated, I can transfer the template to some more 12 mil ply, just like we've used up there. 
I can trim, sand, shape until it's perfect, then I can mirror it onto the other side, make that one. Then we can paint them and they're going to be the salmon colour and then I can fix them up, which is very exciting. I don't know how I'm going to fix them yet. I don't know whether to put screws through with like the brash, uh, brash? I can't even speak. The brass washers, you know, the ones that um, stick out, they're like a reveal brass washer and you can see the screw and you just make that part of the decoration or whether I just bury the screws in, fill it over and paint it. Who knows? I just make this up as I go along. You know that. So let's get this template done. I'm going to pop some music on, so I'll pop some music on for you, some music on for me, and we'll just get templating, shall we? Yes. Okay, there we go, we have a template. I'll be honest, I have no idea why the camera just cut off on me when I was in the middle of doing that, but it did. So, I'm gonna set up a workbench, get some plywood out, and let's do some cutting. <laughs> this is an exciting bit. For anyone who's wondering why I don't do the jigsaw for the whole thing, I hate jigsaws. You can never get a perfect line. I find a much better line with a circular saw. It was just that tight corner there I couldn't get with the circular saw, so I got the jigsaw out. And true enough, it's a right bumpy cut. <laughs> I know it's a cheap jigsaw, which doesn't help, but I'm not buying a fancy one now. Right, so that's not bad for first. We have a bump there. It's going to take quite a bit of refining and sanding to make this the way I want it, obviously. Which is a shame because it shouldn't really matter that much, but apparently it does. <laughs> it's one of those things, I don't need to be over fussy, it's just a van. <laughs> but I will sit relaxing next to a beach somewhere in Spain and stare at that bit if it's not quite right and it'll do my head in until I fix it one day. So it's all for me really and my mental problems. <laughs> right, I've got a tiny slither to try and take off this. Ideally, I'd get that with an electric sander. Don't have an electric sander, it died. And I'm not buying one for this project, so uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll just nibble at it slowly. <laughs> all right, the boy is here. Hello, boy. Hello. He's been helping sand. We've done a lovely, lovely sanding job on the fronts of these. Also some filler work in the little holes. And there was a bit here where the ply came off, the glue was not good, so I've had to fill that. That needs to be sanded. There was a nasty bump in the plywood here, but it's because I used some scrap ply, isn't it? Uh, but we managed to grind that out and sand it out. So now, a quick sand off on that bit in a second, and we will get the primer undercoat on and then we'll see what the temperature does because it's coming into evening time. And if it dries quick enough, I might put the first coat of the salmon on. Yes. And then tomorrow morning, I can prop them up and have a look and see how they look. That'll be quite exciting. Quite excited. It's going to be an awful lot of colour. Isn't it? Yep. Good morning, folks. It's another day. And yes, this is a slightly different look for me. I'm about to go out for my run but I need to get a coat of paint on here and apologize to you because I said I was gonna film putting the color on and I didn't. I had my evening meal and I sat and relaxed for a bit, had a cup of tea and I thought, oh, I'm gonna do it. And I came out here about nine, 9.30 last night in the dark and I'm like, I'm getting a first coat of paint on and I completely, I didn't think about the camera. It was dark and cold. I just wanted to get it done. So anyway, here is our lovely 
salmon colour on uh, the B pillar covers. So what I'm going to aim to do now is very quickly do another coat, go for my run, come back, get changed, get ready for work, and then I'm going to pick up with you again, okay? So once again, sorry about that, I keep forgetting to film, don't I? I get excited, or oh, it's cold and dark. Anyway, speak to you in a bit, bye-bye. Hello again. Now, oh, hang on, dirty. Better. I know it's only been a few seconds for you guys, but it's been half a day for me. I had my lovely run. Um, and then I took John to his gaming club where he goes and does online gaming with his mates. Uh, usually another one of the mums from the home ed group takes him, but she wasn't going today. So I took him. Anyway, I have balanced these things in over here. And what I'm going to need is your opinions, please. Because I don't know. I've just spoke to Sally. Um, she likes it. John is not sure. I haven't asked Ellie yet. I'm not sure. I'm going to ask. The guys, Otis and SJ, when they get back, they're off camping somewhere else at the moment, but they're coming tonight because they're going to have a video out tonight and we're going to have a premiere. Shall I stop talking and just let you see? I've balanced them there temporarily and I am going to fix them in and make my decision over time. Is that too much, colour-wise? Bearing in mind that the plan is the yellow is going to continue around here for the cabinets, but of course it will have doors on the front. So you lose all that yellow there, you'll just see more of these doors here with a stripe of yellow like you get along the bottom of there and across the top. So the biggest patch of yellow you're going to see in the van is that bit there. Then this salmon colour I've got going on down here, which when you just look down, it's beautiful and it blends with the floor and the black so well, just like it did at Ikea. And there, and then the plan was originally all oh, this wall going across here will be the salmon colour underneath the yellow cupboards. What do we think? Is it too much? I can't decide. I'm not good at this interior design bit. I, I can build the things, I can design the layout and make it really efficient and make it all work. But when it comes to colours and stuff, I just don't know. I, want, I really want your opinions. What's going to happen is I'm going to fix this in. I'm going to get some of those brass washers, you know the, what do they call them, screw cups, and I'm going to actually fix these in and have the, the screws on display and make a feature of them for two reasons. One, it's going to look quite nice anyway, rather than burying them and filling them, which was my original idea, but what it also means is I can remove those easy and change. I could, if I want to, I could change the colour completely, I could paint them black, I could even color, cover them in the same carpet, which was my original plan. I just don't know. I bounce around with ideas and then do something. And usually I go, oh, yeah, it looks great. And this one, I'm just not sure. So opinions, please. Lots of them. I need everyone to tell me in the comments. Do you like it? Don't you like it? If you don't like it, why? If you do like it, why? Or if you do like it, but maybe not so much on the walls, tell me, tell me now. I've purposefully done that so I can look at that every day while I work at the rest of the van. And I'm going to walk in here every morning and decide if it annoys me, if it works or not. So, long story short, tell me, tell me, please, in the comments. I really want to know. I'm going to whiz off to screw fix now and get them caps and get them fit in anyway. And uh, yeah, let's see how they look then. Backing them in. And of course, I've forgotten to put that in, haven't I? Let's see if we can make that work. All right, folks, there we go. We're losing the light a little bit here, but I think those have come up really, really nice. That's a lovely finish we've got there. It's a bit dark. Sorry, I hope you can see all right. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. And I've got that bit in there now, as you can see where there was a gap. Sorry, it's too dark. Can you see? Not very good light. Anyway, a friend of mine just visited, uh, he turned up in his car and uh, we've been chatting for about an hour and a half, so uh, we're losing the light now. I am going to end it there, guys. Uh, I think we've got plenty in this video. But one thing I was going to say was, thank you so much, you subscribers out there, all of you. We have just gone past 3,000 subscribers. That's another big milestone and that just feels fantastic. 
fantastic that there's that many of you out there watching and enjoying and coming back every week. It's great. And also, I've also noticed in my analytics that there's about 48% of people watching these videos who have never hit the subscribe button. Why? Why not? Are you crazy? It's free. Hit the button. Go on, it's doing us a massive favour. And you can take us up towards 4,000. Let's get there. Next thing it'll be 10,000 and onward and upward. But yeah, that'd be great if you don't mind hitting the button. That'd be lovely. If you can't be bothered with that, just hit the like button. Drop us a comment. I want your opinions on these colours. Please, please, please leave it down below. Otherwise, I will see you next week for whatever it is we're going to be doing. Bye-bye.